This is a reading of the Setting Financial Goals test for 7th grade social studies. What you're going to do is hit Preview Quiz Now, Start Attempt, and then we'll all be on the same page. Feel free to use this reading to listen to it multiple times, to um, go back to it, listen to it as many times as you need. The first part you're doing here are matching financial terms with the correct description. So the total income without deductions. And for these, um, we use two packets of reading this semester, or not this semester, this unit. So I've included which reading you need to look through and which page it is in that reading. What is the term for total income without deductions? Go to the setting financial goals reading and look at page 13. Your choices are net income, flexible expenses, a 401k plan, equity, or a gross income. So again, go to the Setting Financial Goals reading, page 13. When you're ready, pick your choice and let's do the next. Expenses with amounts that often change from month to month. Setting Financial Goals reading, page 15. Is this net income, flexible expenses, a 401k plan, equity or gross income. Go to page 15 in Setting Financial Goals to find the answer. Choose your choice and then get ready to do the next one. A retirement savings plan established by an employer in which employees set aside a percentage of pay in an account that earns interest. This is in the other reading, the Paying Yourself First reading, page 20. Is this net income Flexible expenses, a 401k plan, equity, or gross income. Select your choice after looking at page 20 on the Paying Yourself First reading. Gross income minus deductions, including Social Security and other taxes. This is in Setting Financial Goals on page 13. Your choices are net income, flexible expenses, 401k plan, equity or gross income. Based on the options there, select your choice and when you're ready, hit the next button. The difference between how much your home is worth and how much you owe on your mortgage. This is the Paying Yourself First reading, page 26. Your choices are net income, flexible expenses, a 401k plan, equity or gross income. Select your choice from the options provided and when you're ready hit next. So we're doing a second sh um, sheet of terms here. An account that usually pays a higher rate of interest and it usually requires a higher minimum balance in order to earn interest than is earned on a regular savings account. You can make withdrawals and deposits from these accounts. This is in Paying Yourself First on page 14. Is it stocks, deductions, bonds, a mutual fund, or a money market account? Loans to corporations or to the government for a certain period of time called a term. You earn interest on your loan investment and at the end of the term your bond matures and can be repaid to you by the company. This is the Paying Yourself First reading, page 17, and your choices are stocks, deductions, bonds, a mutual fund, or a money market account. Select your choice from the options provided and then move on to the next one. Money that is taken out of every paycheck. Examples are health insurance and federal income tax. This is in the Setting Financial Goals reading on page 13. Is this stocks, deductions, bonds, a mutual fund, or a money market account? Select your choice and then we'll move on to the next. A portion of an ownership of a company called a share. If the company does well, you might receive periodic dividends, which means a little bit of money, based on the number of shares you own. Dividends are a part of the company's profits that gives back to you, the shareholder. This is from the Paying Yourself First reading, page 16. So is this a stock, a deduction, a bond, a mutual fund, or a money market account? And last, a professionally managed collection of money from a group of investors. A mutual fund manager invests your money in some combination of various stocks, bonds, and other products. This is in the Paying Yourself First reading on page 18. And your choices are stocks, deductions, bonds, mutual fund, and money market account. 
Select your choice after looking at Paying Yourself First, page 18. Hit the Next button when you're ready. Question 3. You purchase these when you buy a share of a corporation. You may periodically receive dividends or a portion of the company's profits. This is on Paying Yourself First, page 16. Is this a mutual fund? Is this a stock? Is this a U.S. Treasury security? Or is this a bond? Select your choice based on the items provided and hit the next button when you're ready. Question four. These investment products are backed by the U.S. government and the minimum purchase price is $100. This is on the Paying Yourself First reading on page 18. Is this a retirement investment, a mutual fund, or a treasury security? Select your choice and hit next when you're ready. Question 5. If your home is valued at $175,000 and the amount you owe to the bank is $148,000, how much equity do you have? Go to Paying Yourself First, page 26, and you'll see a math problem you need to do there. So your choices are $72,000, no equity, $27,000, $323,000. Go ahead and select your choice after looking on page 26 of Paying Yourself First. When you're ready, hit Next. Question 6. For this question, you need to use the rule of 72. If you put $500 into an account and you want the money to double in 12 years, what interest rate will you need to pay? This is from Paying Yourself First, page 14. So make sure you go to that one for the problem you need to do. Is this 12%, 16%, 6%, or 60%? Select your choice, and when you're ready, move on. Question 7. What is the major difference between saving and investing? The Paying Yourself First reading, page 14. Is this that savings products have a risk or loss and investment products don't? Is this that most savings products are federally insured while investment products aren't? Is this saving, savings and investment products are the same? Or is it investment products do not have a high potential for growth like savings products do? Select your choice from the options provided after looking on page 14 and hit next when you're ready. Question 8. You should do this if you are having trouble paying your bills. Setting financial goals reading page 19. Should you ask close friends to loan you some money? Should you apply for at least one more credit card? Should you talk with your parents or guardians? Or should you stop paying them until you've saved enough money? Select your choice, and then we'll hit the Move On button. Which of the following is a fixed expense? The answer to this is on the Setting Financial Goals reading, page 15. Is it A, a monthly car payment, B, savings, or C, personal expenses? Check out page 19 for your answer, and when you're ready, hit that Next button. Question 10. If you are having trouble paying your bills, what should you pay first? This is from the Setting Financial Goals reading on page 19. Is this all of the above or a priority? Paying your savings account, paying yourself, or paying your utilities like gas, water, and electric? Hit page 19 to see what you have. Select your choice and hit the next button when you're ready. Question 11 is an essay question. This should look a little familiar with something we've already completed. Read the following scenario and answer the question that follows. Todd gets an allowance. He does chores around the house for which he earns $10 a month. Or $100 a month, I'm sorry. His cell phone bill is $30 a month. The rest of his money goes towards savings, $10. Going out with friends, $25. And clothes, MP3 downloads, and video games, $35. Right now, he's got $70 in savings, too. Last month, Todd went too far over his cell phone minutes. His cell phone bill ended up being $256. But if he continues to pay his regular payment, he will continue to owe extra charges. So what I need you to do here is to make a plan on how Todd can pay his bill by suggesting ways he can lower his expenses and increase his income. Express your answer using complete sentences. Please look on page 20 of Setting Financial Goals for a little more information that should help you out here. Construct that answer using complete sentences, and when you're ready, hit Next. 
Increasing cash flow means, question 12. This is from Setting Financial Goals, page 15. Is this lowering your expenses so you have more money at the end of the month? Is this getting a part-time job to fill up your free time? Is this getting more money from the automated teller machine or the ATM? Or is this borrowing money from a family member? What does increasing cash flow mean? Question 13. Which of the following is the correct way to calculate net income? Setting financial goals, page 13. Is this gross income minus deductions equals net income? Is it gross income divided by deductions equals net income? Is it deductions minus gross income equals net income? Or is it gross income plus deductions equals net income? Select your choice after looking on page 13 of setting financial goals. Hit next when you're set. Expenses are, this is from Setting Financial Goals, page 12. Are they money you can earn from a job or doing chores, or are they things you spend money on each month? Look on page 12 for your answer, and when you're ready, finish our last question. Question 15. When creating a spending plan, what are five things you need to consider when outlining it? Describe in your own words, which means not copied from the textbook, each item that should be considered. This is from Setting Financial Goals, page 9. So go to page 9 in Setting Financial Goals to start out, and go ahead and write your answer down. Please remember to write in complete sentences. When you're ready, hit next. Alright, so now that you've finished the test, make sure to scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit Submit All and Finish. Good luck. If you need me, let me know.